So the guts or internals of a computer include gates, circuits and switches. So come along with me now as we learn about these computer details or delicacies in today's video. Welcome back, my name is Tim Pachalka from the Learn Programming Academy and this is my Learn to Code series here on YouTube. Now in this video we're going to learn about the fascinating basics about a computer's gates, circuits and switches. Now these components are the basic building blocks found in today's computers or computing devices in general. Being familiar with these topics will allow for a better understanding of what really happens inside a computer. This ultimately will also help you and give you better programming skills along the way. Now if you're not already familiar with Boolean operations, then I suggest you watch the previous video in this series that covers that topic before you go through this video. Now click on to the left, or click up here rather, to my left if you want to watch that one first. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell notification to be updated when a new video lands on YouTube. Alright, I'm ready, let's get going. A gate is a device that produces the output of a boolean, true or false, one or zero operation, when given the operation's input values. Gates can be constructed with a variety of technologies such as gears and relays. Inside today's computers, gates are usually implemented as small electronic circuits in which the digits 0 and 1 are represented as voltage levels. Circuits are defined by the gates they represent and the values the gates can produce. For example, the value in a Boolean circuit are the two Boolean values true and false, often represented as binary 1 true and binary 0 false. So a circuit produces an output value of 1 or 0, which remains constant until a pulse from another circuit causes it to shift to the other value. For our purposes in this video, consider a gate and a circuit as synonyms, and uh, I'll actually refer to them as circuits from this point forward. Boolean operations are used with gates and circuits, and so we'll illustrate four of the basic ones, namely not, and, or, and XOR, which is actually pronounced exclusive OR. A simple circuit example for a NOT circuit based on Boolean operations shows a binary 1 as input and the resulting output is a binary 0 because the NOT circuit reverses the input value. So an input 1 becomes an input 0 and an input 0 becomes an output 1. This Boolean operation is used quite often in computer programming languages, although its use in our human spoken language is quite rare, if at all. A more complicated circuit is an AND circuit that takes two binary inputs and produces one binary output result. In the figures example, a binary 1 and a binary 0 are the two inputs. The resulting output is a binary 0 based on Boolean logic for an AND circuit, which states that both inputs must be a binary 1 for the resulting output to be a binary 1. All other combinations of input, there are only three, would produce a binary 0 as the output result. Similar to the AND circuit is an OR circuit that also takes two binary inputs and produces one binary output result. In the figures example, a binary 1 and binary 0 are the two inputs. The resulting output is a binary 1 based on Boolean logic for an OR circuit which states that if one or both inputs are a binary 1, then the resulting output will also be a binary 1. So three of the four possible combinations of input will produce a binary 1 as the output result, and only one, when both inputs are binary 0, will the resulting output also be a binary 0. The fourth and final circuit to talk about is the XOR or exclusive OR circuit. There's not a single conjunction in the English language that captures the meaning of the exclusive OR operation. Referring to the figure, exclusive OR produces an output of binary 1 when one of its inputs is a binary 1 and the other is a binary 0. That way the computer interprets an exclusive OR circuit like A, exclusive OR B, is either A or B but not both. Another way to say this is that the exclusive OR circuit produces an output of binary 1 when its inputs are different. So millions of circuits are combined and coupled together on a single wafer called a chip. Now these circuits take the output of one or possibly two other circuits and use that output as input to the next circuit or circuits in line and so forth. And this allows for massive processing of bits to occur. A switch works by interrupting current flow around an electrical circuit. A basic switch is a binary device 
in which it is either open, off, or closed, on. The simplest type of switch is one that comprises two metal strips that are brought into contact by a string or some other form of an actuating mechanism. Switches are actually quite common in our lives. Lots of on-off switches are everywhere. All right, so that's gates, circuits, and switches at the end of this video. Now in the next video in the series, we're going to start taking a look at the computer's input and output function or capability. One question for you though, before I go, have you heard the phrase garbage in and garbage out? Well, do you know what that is? We'll talk about what that is in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, here's where I meant to pump you to click on the subscribe and click on the bell notification. Do that if you want to keep updated with the videos. There's also links on this page, who knows where they are, but uh, you'll find the first video in the series, which might be a good thing to do if you're not watching the first one or the previous video. So click on those links, subscribe, do whatever. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.